Welcome again to Power Bomb Wrestling, another hour of action and excitement in store for you today. I'm Terry Sullivan. This is Norm Wehmer, the commissioner of a, Power Bomb Wrestling. We've got a great show oh, on tap. We yeah. really do have a great show on tap. Our main event on this edition of Power Bomb Wrestling on TV, you will see what everybody's still been talking about. That was oh. at St. Clemens Hall for the tag team titles, Righteous Indignation. Uh, the enforcer, Andy Shane, the righteous maker, Rick Baker, against the Circus of Pain. Not going to see a whole lot of Greco-Roman wrestling. Not a whole lot of scientific wrestling in this match. It's a very violent, very physical match. Yeah. And uh, it left many people like, aghast. <laughs> really? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and as a matter of fact, Terry at one point was, you won't see this on TV, but Terry was actually standing on his chair trying to see over the ring, over the railing, over the crowd to see what was going on. Yeah, yeah, it was just an incredible, I, actually, I think they actually spent a couple of minutes total inside the ring. The rest of it though was everywhere else. You will see what I can't term anything more than a puzzling uh, Midwest title defense by Palmer Cruz against Atlas Hightower. We'll have that for you too. And I uh, want to remind everybody, of course, it's September Showdown coming up September the 30th back at St. Clemens Hall, 2990 Tremainsville. Doors open at 4, bell time at 5. Four title matches on the card, and we'll get into all the matches in case uh, you weren't with us last week. And if you weren't with us last week, well, then we're going to show you here the end of the heavyweight title match that we showed last week. Good. Can't wait to see that again. Yep. Yeah, it is the champion. The Bachelor, Benjamin Boone, and Unchained, Brandon Day. Brandon Day, of course, uh, has been shorted a couple of times by Ben Boone. The feud has really heated up. He could not wait to get his hands on him. We will join this match in progress. Who's got that rose? Oh! You gotta be kidding me. Eye. Referee, uh, one, a disqualification. He's sticking it right in his eye. You gotta resort to those tactics. What a cheap way to end this match and save his title. Wow. I can't believe the referee, right in front of the referee to save his championship, he gets disqualified. Oh, come on! Come on! Somebody's gotta stop this! Ripping away with the stem of the rose in the eyes of the Brandon Day. Ladies and gentlemen, by the referee, Somebody's gotta stop this! No, don't do this. He's injured. Nate, Nate. He's injured. You can't do this. Such a valiant effort. Remains power bomb wrestling heavyweight champion. Come on. Come on. Come on. This is enough. You've done your damage. It's enough. What won't he resort to to keep that belt? He's done his damage. He's done everything he's going to do. And the champion. He has. Oh, for heaven's sakes. What an unexpected. Turn of events here as the champion takes his belt. And he. He's already looking. You already resorted. Hey, Nate, are you listening now? Brandon Day still in excruciating pain in the middle of the ring. And here comes you don't need to do Benjamin this. Boone again. Not done yet. Is he going to hit him with the belt? Come on. Here comes amazing Nate Matson. He's got a chair and heading into the ring. And Boone 
heading for parts unknown. in Toledo on Sunday, September the 30th at 5 p.m. at St. Clemens Hall, 2990 Tremainsville Road. The Bachelor Ben Boone and Unchained Brandon Day battle for the heavyweight title, this time for the amazing Nate Matson as special referee. You'll see a lumberjack match for the tag team titles. Also, the Midwest title and the women's title will be defended. Get your tickets now at pbwexcitement.com. It's the best wrestlers in the Midwest, Sunday, September the 30th. The amazing Nate Matson is back at Power Bomb Wrestling and definitely making his presence known. He will be the special guest referee for the world title match Sunday, September 30th at, at September Showdown. Nate, how about it? Are you going to be able to handle your old partner Benjamin Boone and Brandon Day given the intensity that exists between them? The intensity is through the roof. Terry Sullivan, Mr. Sullivan, God bless you, sir. It is so good to be back in Power Bomb Wrestling I know I've been missed, I've missed everybody, and obviously I've missed something going down. There's no law and order. There ain't no cops, there's no robbers, there's no sheriffs. I'm the new sheriff in town, you got that? That's right. And Benjamin Boone, we go way, a way back. You are a former tag team partner of mine, but not only that, you are a former student of mine, and I know the tricks that you have up your sleeve. But have you seen Brandon Day? Have you seen what this man is thinking? I have and I'm a little bit uh, scared for my own health. But I'm gonna do everything I can to call, not only call it right down the middle, but to make sure both sides settle this once and for all. 
I think the responsibility is well placed. Nate Matson can definitely handle whatever comes down between Benjamin Boone and Brandon Day. The world title is at stake. September showdown, Sunday, September 30th. Red Wing Shoes, a quality built to last, just like the legacy of service at your Red Wing Shoes dealer, North Reynolds at Bancroft in Toledo. Family owned and operated since 1982. Four generations, building a legacy of quality and service for years to come. Our sales staff has over 95 years selling and servicing Red Wing Shoe products, and we have the largest selection of Red Wing Shoes in Northwest Ohio. Irish Setter, Works, and our USA made heritage shoes. In stock, no waiting. Red Wing Shoes, North Reynolds at Bancroft, where service, quality, and fit come first. Bring yourself to Ralphie's. Yeah, it's that good. At Ralphie's, it's primetime football every Sunday, Monday, and Thursday nights. Enjoy endless wings starting at 8 p.m. each night and carry out specials every day. Plus, special pricing on all Labatt products, plus new craft and IPAs for the fall. As always, beer buckets only 10 bucks Friday and Saturday. Bring yourself. out the brand new online power bomb wrestling store at pbwexcitement.com browse the brand new pbw t-shirts plus new embroidered pbw caps you can also get your copy of confessions of a big time wrestler as the legendary dr jerry graham peels back the curtain on the golden age of professional wrestling of course you can always get big savings on advanced tickets and it's all of the new online power bomb wrestling store at pbwexcitement.com get your gear now it's September Showdown Power Bomb Wrestling back with a gigantic card. Sunday, September 30th at St. Clements Hall, 2990 Tremainsville. The main event once again, one more time. Benjamin Boone, the bachelor, puts the PBW World Championship on the line against Brandon Day. The man he literally blinded, at least temporarily. I understand the eye is healing to some degree. But once again, September 30th, you two are back at it. Yeah, it's getting better. It's getting better. But it doesn't even matter. You know why? He could pluck both eyes out and I'll fight you blind. The bottom line of this is you crossed me once, you crossed me twice, and I swear to God, there will not be a third time. This time, you're going to eat that ripcord lariat. You're going to eat my elbow. You're going to eat the end of days. And I'm going to walk out the PBW World Heavyweight Champion. Nate Manson, the special guest referee. You're not going to want to miss it. Sunday, September 30th at St. Clements Hall. Well, we heard from Nate Matson, the special guest referee, three weeks from now, Sunday, September 30th, September showdown at St. Clements. And we heard from Brandon Day, whose eye is coming along. But not ready yet. We expect no. him to be able to be cleared. I don't think it's, you know, it's going to matter. He's going to want to wrestle anyway and get a hands on Ben Boone yet again, and hopefully Nate Madsen be, can uh, keep, you know, somewhat a semblance of order of the match. I think he's a good person to put your trust in. I definitely do. Yeah, uh, that will be one of the matches on September Showdown, September the 30th at St. Clemens Hall. I want to tell everybody too. Get your discount advance tickets now. Go to the website, pbwexcitement.com, and you will save five bucks off a front row ticket, $3 off uh, adult general admission, $2 off a of kid's ticket. So there's also some uh, discount four packs also available. pbwexcitement.com. Yep. That is the website. More people you bring, the cheaper it becomes. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Three weeks from at now. At least per person, Sunday, anyway. Sunday, September 30th, 5 p.m. at St. Clements. All right, the next match coming up, this is uh, for the Midwest title. First title defense for Palmer Cruz. Very, very interesting developments in this match. Very puzzling. All right, let's take you to the match. It's Palmer Cruz defending the Midwest title against Atlas Hightower. Ladies and gentlemen, this match is for the Powerbomb Wrestling Midwest Heavyweight Championship. Introducing first the challenger, weighing in tonight at 209 pounds from Detroit, Michigan, Kickstarter, Atlas Hightower. And his opponent weighs in tonight at 205 pounds from Hollywood, Florida. He is 
your Powerbomb Wrestling Midwest Heavyweight Champion, Palmer Cruz. I've been looking forward to this match ever since I heard it was signed, Norm, and congratulations to you as the commissioner for signing uh, two of the three who were in contention for the inaugural Cruiserweight Champion. Terry, uh, Midwest it, champion, yeah, sorry. It's, it's all about talent. I mean, it really is. And we keep, there. and it's a team effort, Terry. We keep adding more and more talent. Quite frankly, there's a lot of talent that's trying to get in here to power bomb wrestling. And look at Atlas Hightower. This guy's just a bundle of energy. You know, you keep adding talent, adding talent, adding, adding talent, and, and you can't help but have good matches. And, and good matchups. Atlas came close last time in that excellent three-way dance, triple threat match for the Midwest Championship. And we've heard from Atlas over the past couple of weeks. Very lighthearted, usually. Well, if you remember in that three-way match, Palmer Cruz and Sean Casey acted really as a team to right. double team Atlas Hightower, basically making it a two-on-one. And then Palmer Cruz was just in the right place at the right time to be able to get the pin. These are the two of the best in wrestling today. We're very fortunate to have them here at Powerbomb Wrestling. They are just uh, nonstop action, just as skilled as can be, both very, very well trained, in excellent shape, and everything is on the line here. The gold is at stake, the Midwest Heavyweight Championship. Well, these guys are gonna become more and more in demand. And that's certainly true, especially as promoters see them on Fight.TV or on NBC24 here on Powerbomb Wrestling. Or on YouTube, on our YouTube channel. Just uh, you go to YouTube and put my name in the search box, Norm Wehmer, and uh, you'll find all the back shows. Back and forth early in this match here for the Midwest Championship. Referee is Thunder Dan Marley. Atlas Hightower in the black and white. Palmer Cruz in the blue and white. Dropped down by Hightower and over the top he goes ahead from behind. Oh! oh. Palmer Cruz thought he got away with something, but well, that came back to hit him right between the eyes. Atlas, the crossbody into the corner. And now, Atlas ready to run this ring as he comes over to the top, but Cruz sidestepped him. Good move from the Midwest champion as he hoists Atlas Hightower onto the top rope and lays a knife edge in on him. And now it's back and forth, or was for a moment. Well, now it's becoming a fight. Palmer Cruz going on to the second rope here. I think he's intending to take Atlas Hightower over the top and onto the mat. Well, Hightower's got a hold of the top rope, so he blocked that potential Palmer of Cruz a suplex. Knocked off. Oh, oh, oh. oh, my gosh. He caught him with that beautiful drop kick. One of the best drop kicks in wrestling. Well, those those legs, those legs are so long. He's really able to get a lot of power, a lot of speed into that drop kick. Palmer Cruz taking some time as well. Oh! oh! High risk move. Atlas Hightower is as psyched up as I've ever seen him. Oh, and the crowd's fired up too. Cruz, though, oh! Just an amazing display from these two. Palmer Cruz and Atlas Hightower. Watch out! No! Oh! Throat first over the metal barricade. That steel railing is unforgiving. We could see the, have seen the end of Atlas Hightower. I don't know how he's going to be able to come back from that, but if anybody can, 
especially the way his adrenaline is flowing, Atlas can. Well, I think it caught him right underneath the throat, and you could break a collarbone very easily. Palmer Cruz got him back into the ring and needs to follow up quickly here to take advantage of what is uh, obviously, well, let's see. Trying to scoop him up, Atlas blocked it, blocked it a second time. And three times a charm. Palmer Cruz. Dropped the elbow down across the chest of Hightower in for the count. We've got two, and that's it. Only a two count from referee Thunder Dan Marley. You know, this is more physical than I thought this match was going to be. Yeah, these two have really, each has taken a lot of punishment so far in this match. A lot of high-risk moves have hit. There's a good old-fashioned boot and a spin kick. And boom! Boot right against the head. Thought he was going to go for a bicycle kick there. Perhaps more effective, though, with the boot. Two count. Palmer Cruz almost gained a victory there, retained his uh, Midwest Championship. Boy, when you're young, you could just take more punishment. And sometimes when you make a mistake, when you're, when you're this young as a wrestler, you can, you can still get away with it because you're able to absorb so much. Alice Hightower is still in the match, but he's in rough shape. He is. And Palmer Cruz intends to keep it that way. He's been very effective at handling this much taller man. Atlas Hightower goes about 6'6". Six, six. Palmer Cruz, what, about six feet? Hightower, though, comes back with a couple of fists and threw him right chest first, setting him up here. Watch out. Uh-oh. Good move, though. Good counter from Palmer Cruz. I'm impressed with how Palmer Cruz has been able to counter. Yeah, we're seeing a lot of skill displayed from both of these men. Two count. We've seen a little of everything in this match from power moves to just pure wrestling and skill. And then those high risk moves. You know, there's an old saying that once you become champion, you become better. Just being the champion makes you better, makes you more confident. I can see where that would have to be, certainly a mental, a mind game that somebody would have to play to psych themselves up. Because they know they're always a target. Because everybody wants what you've got. Ah! When Atlas Hightower gives a back body drop, you're coming down from a long, long way up. It's like coming from outer space. Referee will put in the count here on both men, 10 counts. And both though getting to their feet. Cruz, oh, just walked right into that one. These two are just uh, outthinking each other. They're just one step ahead of each other. Knee lift into the midsection of Palmer Cruz. And here comes Hightower. Oh, scissors kick. kick. We could have a new champion. One, two, and that's it. Palmer Cruz, that was a strong kick out. He's still got a lot left. Whoa, these two have given up, given and taken so much punishment. Double underhook suplex. And those suplexes are just damaging moves as can be. Cruz threw him off, catches Hightower from behind. DDT. Just planted his head into the center of the ring. Yeah, good night. One, two, and th no. Hightower barely got that elbow up. I think that took an awful lot from out of him. Oh, uh, I should. I thought we were done. 
How did Atlas Hightower kick out of that? Hightower now back to his feet, setting up again. Oh, but caught again by Palmer Cruz. Palmer's gonna try to scoop him up. He does so, drops. I think tried to get him with the knee drop, maybe not. Oh, got him face first. Both of these men, I think, are very, very uh, winded at this point. They have taken so much punishment. This has been such a high impact, high intensity match. Now what? Palmer Cruz going into dangerous territory, high risk area. And he's gonna come off. Oh! Atlas Hightower caught Cruz. Yeah, with that diamond cutter. Wait a minute, what do we have here? Cody Hawk from the five most wanted along with Shauna Reed coming out to ringside trying to distract the referee. Well, what do they have to do with this? Oh, come on! Mile driver by Cody Hawk. What is Cody Hawk doing? Well, isn't this an interesting development? Five most wanted come to the assistance of Palmer Cruz, and that's it. Well, we gotta find out what we just saw. Here is your winner, and still Midwest heavyweight champion, Palmer Cruz. I don't know what we just saw. And we want to get a word with Palmer Cruz. Palmer, exactly what is going on here? Did you you have some kind of alliance with Five Most Wanted? Alliance? Hey man, I just woke up and it was two five people hitting me up to win this hard fought match. It's out of nowhere. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know where it came from. But hey, would you accept a little help to keep this gold around your waist? I don't know. You wouldn't know. You're not a wrestler. I am a wrestler. I am an elite wrestler. So don't question you about what's going on in my life. Thank you. Cruz. Sounds a little ominous to me. Wrestling is back in action in Toledo on Sunday, September the 30th at 5 p.m. at St. Clemens Hall, 2990 Tremainsville Road. The Bachelor Ben Boone and Unchained Brandon Day battle for the heavyweight title, this time for the amazing Nate Matson as special referee. You'll see a lumberjack match for the tag team titles. Also, the Midwest title and the women's title will be defended. Get your tickets now at pbwexcitement.com. It's the best wrestlers in the Midwest, Sunday, September the 30th. The Midwest title is up for grabs Sunday, September 30th, September showdown at St. Clements Hall. Atlas Hightower, a man who is normally calm, cool, and collected when he gets in that ring. After what happened the last time, though, Palmer Cruz really showed his true colors. Mm, I got some colors to show him, man. One thing that people don't know about Atlas Hightower. Yeah, I might be calm, cool, and collected, but I run this ring. Let's not forget that, okay? Atlas Hightower, oh, he has a wild side to him. He has a, he lived that fast life once before, just like Cruz. But you know what, though? September 30th, that Midwest title is coming home to Atlas Hightower. Run this R-I-N-G! Hey, Mortgage Marty here from Fairway Mortgage. New office is open at 5577 Monroe Street in the Promenade Shops. And uh, those of you that watch know how competitive I am, so here's my challenge. Uh, the large national company you always see at every sporting event uh, from up north who has that uh, Rocket app that I hate. We have a competing app called the Fairway Now app, and the best part of the Fairway Now app is you get actually somebody local to help you after you use it. So uh, log in, try it. Uh, it's on Facebook, on Twitter. You can find us, the Fairway Now app. Have a great night.
Red Wing Shoes, a quality built to last, just like the legacy of service at your Red Wing Shoes dealer, North Reynolds at Bancroft in Toledo. Family owned and operated since 1982. Four generations, building a legacy of quality and service for years to come. Our sales staff has over 95 years selling and servicing Red Wing Shoe products, and we have the largest selection of Red Wing Shoes in Northwest Ohio, Irish Setter, Works, and our USA made heritage shoes. In stock, no waiting. Red Wing Shoes, North Reynolds at Bancroft, where service, quality, and fit come first. Power Bomb Wrestling is now available for live performances at your business or fundraiser. You can have a live Power Bomb Wrestling show either inside or outside to attract potential customers to your business. Also, PBW Wrestling can help you raise thousands of dollars for your nonprofit organization or charity. Find out more about the power of Power Bomb Wrestling and help your organization today. Contact us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or at our website at pbwrecycling.com. Malice, it was great to see you back at Power Bomb Wrestling in August, but come sub Sunday, September 30th, you're back again against Brian Douglas. That could be one heck of a challenge for you. That's right, September Showdown, September 30th. Malice will be back. Brian Douglas, you know, you pull a little game here, you pull a little game there. You know, you're trying to get yourself into the title picture. Well, the thing that you need to remember is the title picture revolves around Malice, whether I've got the belt, whether I don't have the belt. Every time I step in the ring, I am the man to beat. I am always a contender. Brian Douglas, be prepared. September 30th, you'll find out why Malice is the lion. Good luck to you, Malice. Good to see you back at Powerbomb Wrestling. Sunday, September 30th, Malice meets Brian Douglas. Well, a very, very strange ending there to the, the Midwest Championship match between Palmer Cruz and Atlas Hightower with the appearance of Cody Hawk and Shauna Reed from Five Most Wanted. And uh, very evasive was Palmer Cruz yeah. after that match. Is he so, being recruited? I think we will know more about this coming up uh, next week on next week's show because we'll have the, uh, the Five Most Wanted and their match against Warhorse coming up next week. Uh, we will uh, attempt to get further commentary from comments from Palmer Cruz and see if we can find out what's going on. And Palmer and Atlas do go at it again on September 30th. Absolutely. Uh, also, you heard from Malice. Malice will be uh, taking on Brian Douglas. And Thanks. that is a very important crossroads match as we, uh, as both are looking for, uh, get a shot at some gold. Quite a stiff challenge for Brian Douglas to go against Malice to take the victory from Malice. That's one I'm really looking forward to. All right, buckle up because coming up next here, this is our main event on this episode of Powerbomb Wrestling on TV. Circus of Pain, their first shot at Tag Team Gold. You got the, the two clowns, you got, uh, you have uh, the potentate of hate and your buddy Kevin. Crackhead Kevin. <sighs> against Righteous Indignation, the tag team champions. You know it's gonna go off the chain, and boy, did it go off the chain. Let's go to the match. Oh, ring the bell, here we go. This match is for the Powerbomb Wrestling Tag Team Championship. Now, oh, for heaven's sakes, this is all broken loose. They're not waiting for anything. They're not waiting for the ring announcement. Pedo the Killer Clown and Genghis Clown, the Circus of Pain. Well, Righteous Indignation, of course, the Powerbomb Tag Team Champions, Andy Shane and the Righteous Maker, Rick Baker. Tag Team Champions, the Enforcer, Andy Shane, Righteous Maker, Rick Baker. Oh, over the top rope, he took them all out. Kevin and everybody. Oh, and Andy Shane's got a high <laughs> one in on the potentate of hate, Abdullah Farouk. That is the best thing I've seen all night. Crackhead Kevin got his head cracked. And look at Rick Baker has got getting a table prepared here. Oh, no. They're trying to help the potentate of hate. Pedos in the ring. Andy Shane is on the outside. Rick Baker's got that table. They're setting it up. Or, Getting it up under the ring. Well, we gotta have a match here somehow. Genghis Clown, pretty much out of it at ringside. And the, 
Well, like we never thought it was going to be pretty. No. And it's not. You're not going to see a wrestling hold in this match. And here comes Pato. Oh! Oh, my gosh. Sawdust. Genghis Cloud. Look at how the metal's bent. Absolutely. 300-pounder went smashing into that table, and Andy Shane oh, bumps it out of the ring. Rick Baker on Genghis Clown in the corner, Andy Shane on Petto. The potentate of hate, Abdullah the Farouk, back to his feet. Crackhead Kevin doing whatever it is he does, causing trouble. Well, is there any way to get two of them out of the ring? So we can have a match? I don't think we're gonna get a match tonight. This is just gonna be mayhem. Some kind of match. Shane taken off his feet by Petto. Genghis setting him up and oh! splash 340 pounds. At least. The ropes down onto the prone figure of Andy Shane. And there Rick goes Rick Baker. Out. Watch Kevin at ringside. Ah, oh, Kevin's, Kevin's stopping Rick Baker on the far side of the ring out of your view. Genghis Clown cutting loose on Andy Shane makes the tag, an actual tag. I can't believe they know how to move. tag. And now the potentate of hate Upsetting Baker up for Kevin. Oh, he's biting him. Andy Shane's busted open. Andy Shane's already busted open. But he doesn't care. Disorder in the court for sure. And Baker kicked out of the ring, off the ring apron again. Shane is in serious jeopardy. Head first into Genghis's foot. Kevin ecstatically clapping and cheering at ringside. The potentate of hate lurking nearby. Rick Baker hasn't even been in the ring or barely so during this match. Well, I guess we actually got two wrestlers in the ring and two out. Not that it's gonna matter. And look at the potentate of hate. Interfering freely at will from ringside. Baker tries to get in. Now the referees are going to enforce the rules. Well, because it's four on two. Shane whipped into the ropes. Oh, Pato flew through the air and caught Shane with a shoulder. Yeah, Andy Shane is just taking a, a beating at this point. What's this? And here comes Petto. Oh! Oh three count, that's it. One, two, three. No, no Baker, Baker with the up. save. You see that though? And he pulled Andy Shane closer to him to try to get the tag. Andy Shane with blood in his eyes. Yeah, I don't know if he could see at this point. And a severe injury to his head area. Baker trying to will Andy Shane to make the tag. Give Rick Baker a lot of credit. I wouldn't want to be anywhere near that ring. Shane being isolated into enemy territory. Both clowns with sledgehammer-like fists onto the back of Andy Shane. The tag team titles are in jeopardy. I mean, that's close to 700 pounds of humanity. Kevin cheering at ringside, the potentate of hate screaming instructions to the clowns as the tag team championships are in the balance. Genghis oh! drops down with all 340 pounds and an elbow behind that elbow. Shane, who desperately needs a tag, tossed out of the ring where the potentate of hate and Kevin are lurking nearby, both of them Unload on Shane. And here comes Petto. Shane up into the railing. Again, the referee ordering Rick Baker out. Well, this Baker. is. There you go. There you go. Let's go, Adam. 
Well, this is where it gets dangerous. Look out. Baker takes out a table. Another table at stake here. Here come the clowns. Beto has Rick Baker now as Genghis lurks nearby, head first into the table. Look at the laughter coming from the sadistic Abdullah Farouk. And now it's Rick Baker at the mercy of the two clouds, but here comes Andy Shane picking up a remnant of the first table, and he clocks Petto with it, and one for Genghis Clown, and another for oh. Genghis Clown. But Petto and Genghis, neither off their feet after that. The potentate of hate lurking close to Rick Baker, who's flat on his back as Kevin surveys the scene, looks for another way to inflict some more treachery from his part. I'm going to say it again. Come over that table. If you think you can over. Now Norm Lamer. Norm Lamer going after the potentate of hate. Watch out, Norm. Those clowns are too close for comfort. The potentate of hate beat a hasty retreat when Norm Lamer came at him. And the clowns, Genghis Clown with a foot over the throat. The referee powerless to stop this thing. The match at this point in the ring, which is one of the first times a very, uh, probably less than a minute of action in the ring. The rest has been everywhere else around ringside with tables and chairs, interference from the manager. And here comes Rick Baker again, being pushed out by referee Ray Orndorff. Kevin just cackling at ringside. Just euphoric over the carnage that he's witnessing. But Andy Shane, from somewhere, able to get one over on Petto. Kevin going absolutely insane, and believe me, that's a short drive out at ringside. I've about had it with these guys. Well, I don't blame you, Norm, but be careful. It's one thing to go after the potentate of hate, but don't forget who's in the ring. Andy Shane has been powerless to mount any offense so far, and there, that, that, that could be the coup de grace. Hey, look at Shane, he can't stand off his feet. Rick Baker has not been legally into this match so far. Off the ropes goes Genghis. But Shane somehow managed to pull out a drop kick and see if he can make the tag. He does. The referee sees it and a drop kick for Genghis. One for Beto. And Baker taking on both clowns now. He's got to keep it going. Double drop kick. kick. Petto being handled by Rick Baker as Genghis is out of the ring. Oh, Andy Shane's a mess. Watch for the manager, watch for Kevin. Their dangerous presence is at ringside. Andy Shane's got the chain. Back out of the ring, watch out. Genghis Clown coming close to Andy Shane. Doesn't realize that he has the- Oh! Oh, got him right in the head. And Genghis Clown could be out. As the potentate of hate has a chair, another referee has come out here. And here goes Petto. Petto and Rick Baker are in the crowd now at ringside. As again, Shane lets loose with the chain on the head of Genghis Clown. Oh, and he's just beating him with the chain. My God. And it's, oh, Rick Baker head first into the wall of St. Clement's Hall. Oh, what is the, the potentate, potentate of hate? Taken off his feet. The potentate of hate. Out of way. Good Lord. Beat the hell out of him. Oh, for heaven's sakes. Andy Teach Shane him a lesson. Shane. And there is no, nothing, no order whatsoever left in this match. Not that there ever was much to begin with. You want to get down and dirty with Andy Shane? Andy Shane can get down and dirty with the best of them. 
and Petto thrown into the wall. It's Shane coming after the potentate of hate again. And one more There you go! Shane lays that chain into the potentate of hate. Thanks for coming there, Harley. Oh, Shane head first into the ring post. Kevin is lurking a trash can. On to Petto the Clown. And the potentate of hate flat on his back. Kevin trying to come to his assistance. In the meantime, Rick Baker with Petto. Out on the floor on the other side of the building. Shane and Genghis Clown barely able to function here at ringside. Oh! DDT from Andy Shane on Oh, Genghis here comes Petto. Rick Baker just threw him back over the railing. And here comes Rick Baker. We've got all four within the confines of the ring area at this point. Petto barely able to stand. Andy Shane's barking and picked the chain Watch up again. Out Andy Shane. Oh, but Rick Baker caught Petto. That could have been that could have been it. That could have been a career ending injury for Andy Shane. Petto coming after him with that chair. One more and oh! oh! Yeah, yeah, this one's bell. over. Ring the bell. There is no this bell. This one's Why over. Have a bell? Genghis with the table. Oh my God! The referee takes it. Takes a chair to the head. Threatening potentate of hate, Rip Baker, saved by Pedo, Genghis, and Andy Shane. We got to get some help. We need the call the National Guard for crying out loud. We got to get some help. No! Watch out. Oh! oh my God! Hey, it's Kevin stole the belts. Kevin stole the tag team title belts. Get that lunatic. Get that lunatic. Where's he going? He's leaving the building. Kevin is leaving the building. And there go the clowns. There go the potentate of hate right out the front door. I have never seen anything like this. The Tag Team Championship belt. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee has thrown this match out and ruled it a no contest. Oh, hey, no, the champ ran out the door. The champ ran out the door. No, oh, for crying out loud. Call the police. They've stolen the championship belts. Kevin has stolen the belts. And the clowns and the potentate of hate right behind him. This is a no contest. There is no change of the titles. Referee Whether Ray Orndorff. Whether they stole those belts or not. Who took a chair to the head himself, trying to help Andy Shane at ringside. This Look at the wreckage around the ring. Two tables in pieces, chairs upended. Rick Baker appears to be barely conscious near the barricade. Andy Shane being helped to his feet, he can hardly stand. Absolutely incredible, unbelievable. Well, as we said at the beginning, nobody expected this would be a wrestling match. And it was just an all out brawl. Referee Ray Orndorff, referee Thunder Dan Marley coming to the assistance of the tag team champions. And with all due respect, they certainly don't look much like champions at this point in time. Andy Shane's got his chain back. <laughs> Infuriated. Well, if you want them next month, 
September the 30th, September Showdown. How about this one? You want them? Not only do you got them, but we won't do it in a lumberjack match. They're not going to run out of the rings with the belts. They bring the belts back here September the 30th and they're gone. You keep it in a wrestle match and those face break freaks are dead. Rematch September the 30th, Lumberjack match. Powerbomb Wrestling is back in action in Toledo on Sunday, September the 30th at 5 p.m. at St. Clemens Hall, 2990 Tremainsville Road. The match where Ben Boone and Unchained Brandon Day battle for the heavyweight title, this time for the amazing Nate Matson as special referee. You'll see a Lumberjack match for the tag team titles. Also, the Midwest title and the women's title will be defended. Get your tickets now at pbwexcitement.com. It's the best wrestlers in the Midwest, Sunday, September the 30th. September Showdown, Powerbomb Wrestling back with four title matches. Boone and Brandon Day for the PBW Heavyweight title. And also you are going to see a match for the Tag Team Championship. As Righteous Indignation, this time in a Lumberjack match, puts the belts on the line one more time against the Circus of Pain. Of course, accompanied by the potentate of hate. Hey, Sullivan. We're hey. back. Hey. Yes, that's right. It's the illustrious potentate of hate and his merry mob of monsters. Don't we look different, Sullivan? How do we look tonight, buddy? It How do we like, look? It looks like you should be charged yeah. with theft. Look pretty well. What are you talking about? Oh, oh. Possession is nine-tenths of the law, right? You're a nerd. You should know that. All right, people, listen up. Sounds like a whole lot of sour grapes out here, but I warned you. I warned Waymer, and I warned the rest of you. There was going to be a lot of Blue Mondays coming for you guys, and I tell you what, somebody looks like they're a lot shorter of a championship and somebody else has traded up. I'm gonna tell you something, Andy Cement Head Shane and the homemaker, righteous maker, whatever you're called, I got something for you. And it's one thing you don't have anymore, and it's the belts. <laughs> you're not gonna wanna miss the September showdown Sunday, September 30th. Hey, Mortgage Marty here from Fairway Mortgage. New office is open at 5577 Monroe Street in the Promenade Shops. And uh, those of you that watch know how competitive I am. So here's my challenge. Uh, the large national company you always see at every sporting event uh, from up north who has that uh, Rocket app that I hate. We have a competing app called the Fairway Now app. And the best part of the Fairway Now app is you get actually somebody local to help you after you use it. So uh, log in, try it. Uh, it's on Facebook, on Twitter. You can find us, the Fairway Now app. Have a great night. Bring yourself to Ralphie's. Yeah, it's that good. At Ralphie's, it's primetime football every Sunday, Monday, and Thursday nights. Enjoy endless wings starting at 8 p.m. each night and carry out specials every day. Plus, special pricing on all Labatt products, plus new craft and IPAs for the fall. As always, beer buckets only 10 bucks Friday and Saturday. Bring yourself to Ralphie's. Yeah, it's that good. out the brand new online Powerbomb Wrestling store at pbwexcitement.com. Browse the brand new PBW t-shirts plus new embroidered PBW caps. You can also get your copy of Confessions of a Big Time Wrestler as the legendary Dr. Jerry Graham peels back the curtain on the golden age of professional wrestling. Of course, you can always get big savings on advanced tickets and it's all of the new online Powerbomb Wrestling store at pbwexcitement.com. Get your gear now. September Showdown, Sunday, September 30th. Action time is 5 o'clock at St. Clements Hall, 2990 Tremainsville. Four belts on the line, including the Tag Team Championship for Powerbomb Wrestling. It'll be righteous indignation one more time. That's, that's enough of that. You see, the clowns, they done messed up. The circus of pain. Oh, y'all done messed up. 
Because you want to go in the ring and act all crazy. Well, you know what? Righteous indignation knows how to handle crazy real well. Because we crazy our damn selves. Ain't that right, Andy? Calm down, D. Ain't got to tell down. me to calm, calm down. down, Baker. I'm so the fakes, the fools, the frauds, the clowns. You didn't win the belts. You walked away with them. I know you don't have a clue what that shiny piece of metal was. I know Abdullah Farouk, that little butt hair weasel, told you to take them. But it doesn't matter. Because you are looking at the soldiers of fortune. You are looking at the dogs of war. And there are going to be casualties. And you, you face painted freaks, are going to be the freaking casualty. You want to get crazy, son? I can get crazy. You want the change? You want the chairs? I don't care. You can't stay in the ring to save your life. So I'm going to tell you what. Why don't we do a freaking lumberjack match, boys? Bring them in. Line them up around the ring. And when you're freaky, face painted more on rear ends. Jump out, they're gonna throw you back in. And when it turns into a wrestling match, you freaking oversized, moronic, face-painted clowns are at a loss for words. You'll be lying back to Matt, looking up, wondering what happened. And what happened was, righteous indignation happened. We win, you lose, game over. PBWExcitement.com, that's the website for tickets and information, Sunday, September 30th. Well, they're back at it again, as we discussed with Andy Shane and Rick Baker, along with the Circus of Pain. They're at it again Sunday, September 30th for the tag team titles, who are the belts, physical belts, are now in the hands of the clowns. They right? are not the tag team champions, though. They, if, then if they want to basically get paid at September Showdown, they're going to have to bring that, those belts back. So they are not the champions. Righteous Indignation are still the champions. Uh, and I came to the conclusion that there's not going to be one person or even two referees that would be able to keep order in this thing. That's why we're going to have a lumberjack match. Around, the ring will be surrounded by wrestlers, and we're going to do our darndest to keep the thing in the ring. That's the only way it can uh, be won is in, inside of the ring. And we can contain crackhead Kevin. We can contain the potentate of hate. Keep the clowns, keep righteous indignation inside the ring, get a clear winner. And a lot of people have asked, and I've been doing on uh, some Facebook Lives on Monday evening, so if you get a chance uh, to join us, we're trying to do those on Monday evening. Uh, and questions of uh, basically, how are you going to top last show? You know, how are we going to top last show? This card right here is going to top last, last show in Summer Stunner. Because we got, as we mentioned, the tag team titles are uh, for Lumberjack match. We got Nate Matson as the special referee in the heavyweight title match. What else we got? Well, we've got Palmer Cruz and Atlas Hightower in another return match. Shauna Reed will be defending the women's title. Oh, and we're gonna we're gonna explain that next week. Oh yeah, and then five most wanted also on the show along with Malice and Brian Douglas. All right, on next week's show we will have the five most wanted against Warhorse. We'll get to the bottom of the Palmer Cruz situation. Also. We're going to show you who the opponent's going to be in the women's title match, and it was a little bit of a surprise on Sunday, and, co and plus a debuting wrestler. That all next week. So for Terry, I'm Norm. We'll see you next time on Powerbomb Wrestling.